What's up guys? Today I'm going to teach you how to ollie over a pyramid. When I was a kid going to the skate park, being able to ollie over the entire pyramid was a big deal. It was a big milestone. A lot of people could ollie up onto the top of the deck or ollie into the ramp, but being able to clear the entire flat was a big deal. Even if you're trying to clear the whole thing, sometimes your feet just go down right before the landing and your back wheels land on the flat. So with this trick, you really have to fight your instincts. Keep your legs sucked up to be able to clear the entire flat. So first off, you need a really good ollie. To ollie, you roll, pop with your back foot, slide with your front foot, even the board out in the air, and then extend your legs land and roll away. I'm assuming you know how to do an ollie if you're trying to ollie over a pyramid. Before you try to ollie over the entire pyramid, try ollieing up onto the flat, get comfortable with that, and then practice ollieing from the flat into the other side of the ramp. So after that, try to clear the entire pyramid. You're probably not gonna get it the first time, but there's a few steps you can take to make your ollies higher and to make them go farther. So first off for this, the most important thing is speed. So go faster. If you have to run, jump on your board, push a couple times as hard as you can, just go faster towards the ramp. That's going to propel your body and your board farther. I told myself I was going to film a drone shot of me running towards the pyramid, jumping on the board and ollieing it, but I guess I forgot. I just got so caught up in skating that I forgot to film uh, running. Another thing that's really going to help you get higher ollies, be able to ollie over stuff, is boning out your ollies. So to do this, you're going to be sucking your knees up higher and you're going to be dragging your foot a little bit longer. So what causes the board to come up in an ollie is your front foot dragging up the board. That pulls the board up and evens it out in the air. But the only way the board is actually going to get higher is if you suck your knees up. So pull your knees up as high as you can, especially your back knee. Your back foot has to really suck up while your front foot is dragging up the board in order to get the highest possible ollie. And here's where it gets hard. Actually keeping your legs sucked up long enough to clear the flat. You have to watch your landing and be comfortable enough to land into the transition, into the ramp. They make some of those pyramids without flat, just both the side ramps and a big gap in the middle. Those can be dangerous. I've seen a lot of people fall on those, but they're definitely a good way to learn how to completely clear the flat if you're having trouble. Just be careful not to hang up on one of those. So you're on your toes, you pop really hard, you have your front foot back a little bit more, and you drag it farther up the board than you normally would for a regular ollie. That is gonna make your ollie higher. That leads into another point. Any kind of exercise that improves your vertical leap is gonna help you ollie higher. So you can look up exercises for basketball players to help them learn to jump higher and working out your legs, just working out your calves is going to help you ollie higher. Other things that could help would be just working out, just being in shape, being fit is going to help you, uh, you know, learn more tricks and be better at skateboarding. Eat right, exercise. So another thing that helps for me sometimes is uh, doing bonelesses over the ramp. If you can't ollie that far, maybe you could do a boneless. If you're really, really good at bonelesses, then you can actually jump a little bit higher with those sometimes for me. Everybody's different. A boneless over a pyramid might be harder for you. So it's all a mental game. It's all about keeping your legs sucked up long enough to clear the entire flat, land in the ramp, and roll away. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of content, reviews, tutorials, and videos about what I'm learning as I grow as a skateboarder, then hit that subscribe button and thanks for watching.